Choosing your major can be a big decision. Learn from our professors what program might be right for you. Welcome to Major Mindset. Hi, I'm Michael Waller. I'm a theater professor. I teach acting and I direct shows here. Hi, I'm Renata Bull. I'm also a theater professor. I teach technical theater production and I'm also a live performance designer. I'm also the chair of the theater department and I would like to welcome you to our theater. Come on in. So in the theater department, there's an acting contingent and a technical theater production contingent. In the acting contingent, you can expect uh, acting class, you can expect uh, some movement, some voice and speech, and starting in the second year, you are in productions, meaning you're in full plays and you're on stage and you get cast in the productions. In the technical theater production uh, part of things, you are going to be in uh, backstage more, you, you'll be uh, being trained as a stage manager, as an assistant stage manager, you'll be working on lights, sound, uh, props, set, sometimes projections, all manners of um, activities that go on backstage. Uh, there's a lot of uh, classes that both uh, contingents go to, especially in the first year. The technical theater production people take acting classes and the acting uh, people take technical theater production and that can continue as you wish uh, over the course of the years. About a third of your classes will not be uh, practical theater classes. They'll be uh, English, electives, dramatic literature. So. It's a good mix of academics and practical uh, classes. Once our students graduate, a lot of them end up in the professional theater world or TV or film. A lot of them end up acting on stage, in movies, in TV shows. On the production side of things, people end up being stage managers, people end up working in design, people end up working in projections backstage as a technical crew on a film. The industry is booming in Newfoundland and our students work a lot in the field. Beyond that though, they uh, will often end up getting an education degree and they'll end up teaching in high school. But a theater, a theater degree can help you do anything which involves interacting with uh, the general public. So a lot of our students have ended up being lawyers, doctors, uh, businessmen, really anything that uh, interacts with the public. If you can go on stage in front of hundreds of people, then working in the general public field is easy. Theater is a, is a great collaborative skill and it helps with all kinds of jobs out there. So I would recommend that if you are an elective student or a minor student in theater, you're gonna to wanna to start out by taking either Theater 1010, which is our introductory acting class, or Theater 1020, which is our introductory technical theater production class. Both of them provide a broad overview of both of those topics and are incredibly hands-on. In our technical theater class, which is part of what I teach, you get to do a little bit of everything. So it's carpentry, props, costumes, a little bit of makeup, a bit of lighting, a bit of sound, and a bit of stage management. So you can really see what it is that you enjoy or don't enjoy and continue on knowing that. If you are also interested in becoming a major, then you can go on to take our production classes. And they are probably our most popular classes because with those, you actually get to work on a show. And we try to set up a professional environment just as if you were working on a real show in professional theater. So one additional thing that I would like to note is that if you do end up working in the theater industry or entertainment industry, there is a professional certification you could do called the Entertainment Technician Certification Program. That's a very high level certificate program that allows you to be head of things like rigging or lighting for giant arenas. So like giant concerts, any giant concert you can think of. So in order to get that certification, you need to pass an exam. And to, to even apply for that exam, you need to have a certain amount of points and or expertise. Now, if you gain an undergraduate degree, RBFA in technical theater production, that actually gives you a substantial number of points that counts towards applying for that particular certificate. If a student would like to declare a major in theater, there's two things they might need to do depending on if they would like to do acting 
or technical theatre production. So for the acting portion, you would actually need to submit an audition. Some people do it in person, and nowadays we tend to do it more online, so you can send it by video. For the technical theatre production side, you would need to do an interview. Now, additionally, if you do happen to have a repertoire of work, for example, if you've done some work in high school in technical theatre, we do accept portfolios, we're happy to look at them, but they're not mandatory. Now, if you want to join as a minor in theatre, you actually don't need to do either of those things, you just need to do an interview.